Don't you just love this title? It's a beautiful title. Even if I can get just a handful of you to be like, okay, I get it. That's, it's going to be a great win. So quick, quick introduction to Stud Enyof. You have this wonderful include. You have this wonderful main. You create a wonderful vector. That's how you create vectors, right? Then you can create a lambda predicate, asking if any value is bigger than three. Send into std any of, value begin and end. Give it the predicate, you're on your way. There's also a std any of, which means that any of the value has to be greater than zero, or std none of, none of the values are bigger than 10. Wonderful. We can also implement this. Have a little template, any of, two iterators and a predicate. I make a, I make a loop. I ask a question about the element, and then I return true or false. Wonderful. So when you are teaching people C++, you go over four core elements. Variables, where you put all that data. Conditions, you can ask questions about the data. Loops, it's conditions that repeat. And functions, you're abstracting the above into a nice thing. But When they have those tools in their toolbox after the education, or during the education, sorry, you can teach them algorithms, you teach them how to write sorting functions, you teach them how to write data structures, you teach them how to analyze the effectiveness of everything above. But once they're in the real world, a lot of day-to-day -day code isn't revolutionary. You have a user. You need to ask if the user has legacy products, you make some sort of loop. I know, I'm sorry, it's fine. You ask some sort of question, and then you return some sort of Boolean. Wonderful. But of course, this can be converted to std any of, and rightly so. But there is a subliminal communication that happens when you add a thing like std any of, and the other two. So C++ already has world-class support for all sorts of algorithms and library design. And Bjarne even mentioned it in the keynote, you should make simple things simple. By adding functions like these, and it's not about the function itself, by adding functions like these, we are communicating to the world, even if C++ might seem complicated, it still includes the tools to get day-to-day -to -day work done simply and efficiently. That's it. So, 90-10 rule applies. 90% of day-to-day -day code, I say, with, is written with 10% of the language. So here's my challenge to you. You have a can has function. It has some sort of loop through some sort of container. You have some sort of condition on the value in the container, and then you return some Boolean. That's a, no, sorry. That is one of those three. And my challenge to you is, if you find func a function, any function that follows that pattern, you can convert it. I challenge you. Here's the regex for it. <laughs> but challenge two is, if you spot a common programming pattern, you can also look into proposing something for standardization. Because the standardization for any of was not complicated. Here's the header of the paper, more algorithms by Matt. You're proposing some non-standard STL. Here are the two paragraphs that define this. There's some uh, wording at the end, but generally, that's it. So please, accept my challenges, yell at me on Twitter. Thank you.